Lachlan Giles. This is Brad Wiedenhofer. Uh, I'm going to go over the Kimura Trap uh, sequence and series that I used in EBI 5 against Hani Yaya. Um, so I just want to give a bit of an overview of some of the different options I, that I like to use from there as well as the move that I specifically did uh, in the competition. So let's get started. Uh, firstly, let's start with the Kimura Trap here like this. Sorry, I've locked up the Kimura. Yeah. Uh, I have to talk about this first. When I first started doing Kimuras from like on bottom in half guard, uh, I actually learned it from one of the guys that trains here, Ben Hodgkinson. He's really good at this. He's better than me at Kimuras. Uh, and I always used to think I'd be able to arm bar him when he got this, but it never seemed to work. And I thought maybe there's something to it. Uh, and I realized that when you're doing your Kimuras, you'd actually never get arm barred from on the bottom, even if they pass your guard. So, I'm going to go over that first. So Brad's going to go outside my legs and arm bar me here, like this. All right, let's go back. That should never happen because what he needs to get the arm bar is his hips need to land behind my shoulder. And all I have to do to stop that, I keep like a rotational pressure, but I'm actually pushing his wrist up into his hips. So he can never drop his hips when he goes to Arm bar. So Brad's going to go to arm bar me again, like that. If you get used to this, you're not going to fear people passing your guard once you've got the Kimura grip. Yeah, I always used to, as soon as I pass, I'd let go, but I realized that if I keep my pressure up on the hip, he goes to arm bar, and that lets me just follow through with the Kimura. Okay, let's go over a few other options here once they're outside your legs. So I did in the competition, I locked it up from half guard, but uh, often you'll have to actually get them outside to get something to, to happen. All right, so this time Brad goes outside my hips, but he gets to here and he realizes I've got pressure up. He doesn't want to uh, doesn't want to go around for the armbar. When that's the case, I swing like it's north south and I open my legs out wide like this. My aim is to get my right foot on the same hip as that I've got the kimura. So once I'm here, my legs come up, my foot connects, then I swing back underneath. Once my foot's there, I've got like a great lever to open out and lift, or we're going to go to an armbar option from here, two later. So, or, um, everyone's probably seen uh, this, where people like come around and take the back. Um, you can do a similar option, so if Brad does sort of manage to come around a bit more than I'd like, and I'm feeling a little bit more worried about this, I swing my legs away this way, so I'm facing him. But it's really important here that now, when I do this, I push like his wrist in. And this creates, creates a wedge. When he tries to pull his elbow out, it's stuck, yeah? If I'm like keeping my arms just straight here, he'll, he'll rip out here, okay? So, we go, Daryl. You might get this. Sometimes I'll come through with my legs, but I'm not gonna swing up like an arm by here. I'm going to take my head away, post on the mat, and I'm going to jump over his head. Yeah, so Brad's going to try to posture and rip his arm out here. I'm not going to let him because I've got this good grip. I post on my head, and I'm going to jump to the other side. I got my foot back on the hip. Yeah, one more time. Okay. So these are options when they've actually got outside your legs. And that's important to have them because that's going to be part of your strategy when you lock up the Kimura from the half guard. Okay, so this time we're in the half guard. Sometimes Brad realizes that if he goes outside my legs, I've got more freedom with my hips. So he's going to start holding onto my hips here. Like that. It stops me from uh, getting good leverage to just rip the, the arm out. What I try to do, if I can just get a little hip escape, my right foot will become a hook. And then I just let him outside. I let go of the half guard, lift. And he's either going to come back to balance, and then I got a chance at going for the Kimura again, or spinning through, uh, or sometimes when you get that hook, you can actually flip all the way over on top. So sometimes you can go here, and come out with the Kimura. All right. The other thing that people will try to do, which is what happened when I fought. Honey, with the try and posture up. And 
what I want here, my favorite position to finish the Kimura is when I get my, like, well, like I was doing before, this foot on the hip. It lets me yank it out, but I can also switch to the armbar. So I wanted to get my foot on the hip. And so Hani started to posture here, like this. Problem is, you'll see here, especially if Brad's shoulder's sort of low, like, I can't get my foot all the way across. So what I do, I keep the half guard trap, and I sort of, it's like a little bit of an invert here. I turn in quite a lot, especially if the head's low. But what I'm actually trying to do is trap their head with my leg, like that. If I get my leg over the head, I'm going to axe kick down, and that exposes this hip. Yeah, so I couldn't reach it before, like that. I get over the head, kick down, foot's on the hip. All right. If they're, being, uh, if they're loose with their arm, as I said, I just go straight for the kumara. If they're tight, maybe they grab their own arm or, or they grab their leg or whatever like that, then I start switching to the armbar. So I keep this grip, I'm gonna lift my hips up off the ground. And once my hips are up, like that, I've got room to feed my right leg deep through to the fast hip, like that. Not between their legs, like that, but through here, like this. Nice and deep. Now I'm thinking about the armbar now. Uh, really important point, you never want to end up, you always want to be facing their legs. So if I'm got the Kimura grip, I never want to end up being swung through to here. It looks like I can armbar, but Brad can stack me here. And eventually, especially Nogi, it's too slippery. They'll get out. So anytime I end up uh, in this position, you would have seen this a bit in EBI, I spin under, back to face the legs again. It lets them either, it's an attack or they roll in. Like here, like this. And I lift my hips up, feed my leg through. Now to get the armbar, I need to change my hand grip. So I take my left hand through now. So I got my right hand through here with the Kimura grip. I'm gonna take my left hand through. And the higher on my thigh, the more pressure I get. So here, it's loose. I pull up all the way to the top of my thigh here. And now when I rock back, it's going to pressure his shoulder a lot, and I can like axe kick with, or kick up with my right leg, which will swing him over. So we're here, still facing his hips. Make sure you do that. Take him over. Now we can finish the arm bar. But if that sometimes that's not tight enough, so we're here. Sorry, we're here. We've lifted the hips up. If you change your grip here. It won't wind up. So now when I try and bring him over, there's no pressure. So when you if you find that your grip's not taking him over, turn your hips up more, even more to the side, and wind it up now. So now, if I get high, when I come back, the, the pressure on his shoulder is gonna be much greater, and it'll roll over easier. So that's how you, if you're not getting him over, that's why, okay? Uh, once you're here, you've already got your grip, come over the top, Hardy was grabbing his, um, I'll do that, the rear naked choke. Yeah. Like, uh, that. Yeah. When that happens, I usually just keep this grip as high as I can. That puts a lot of tension on the arms already. Lean. And then when I can, I just whack that elbow pretty hard. I learned this from watching Zanji. Pressure. And then keep the pressure on. And then 